Are we rolling here? I don't know how this works. I look very handsome today, don't I? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to... <laughs> look how I'm figuring this out. All right, here's the deal. I'm David Bronstein. You know who I am. King of late night TV. A professional blog like this. I work with two studios. I have production crews. Look what I'm doing here. My company produces television infomercials. We're shooting for the next billion dollar sham wow, slap chop, snuggy blanket. You you can tell who I am on my personality. Go look 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 me up. See me to say. See, I had my nose fixed, now my mouth doesn't work. Go look me up online. You'll see David Bronstein, B-R-O-N-S-T-I-M. I'm the big player you think I am. I'm the big player I think I am. But technology is not my forte. You hear me pitch all the time, let's make our billions together. And I'm telling you, it's true. We replicate successful business models. We partner with entrepreneurs, overachievers, power sellers, money makers to live a gigantic lifestyle. I've got this new computer. I don't know what the hell. But look at this. Very professional. The dust behind it. Everything's great. It's a very professional blog. But here's the deal. I'm doing this. I, I do YouTube blogs. <laughs> I want to talk about the news on YouTube. On Facebook, if you go to my Facebook profile, I talk about my personal life, which is like Larry David, which is like Curb Your Enthusiasm, which is nutty, and Instagram, my personal life and bullshit that goes on. I don't write it. it all, it's all true. But I have to separate. I got to come up with bullshit. I can't do the same content on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. So I figured on YouTube, I'll talk about it in the news. I read the newspaper every day. Got to get up to date. I heard Dewey won the election. Is that right? Dewey beat Truman? Because I remember seeing D D Truman holding up a uh, newspaper. Dewey beat Truman. Is that true? So I figure I'll, I'll, I'll separate my content. I'll talk about what's trending in the news because my kid Jared is working for this channel, Info Load or something. Talk about what's in the news. I want to tell you what's in the news. The title of this show is called Sex Ed in Canada. Who's Ed? Is, is, sex, is Ed having sex in Canada? Andrea, get Ed on the phone. Find out what the hell he's doing in Canada having sex. Who's, who's Ed having sex with, Andrea? I want to show you. <laughs> Who the hell's Ed? I went, this has been going on for months and months and months, but I, I got 125 deals going on and partners and... I should be doing this in the studio, but it's such a schlep to go to the studio. The one downtown, one's up north. One, two, three, I do it here. Who gives a shit? If you want to promote my deals, my, my videos, my blogs, get in touch with me. Dave's TV World Outlook .com. You can edit it, upload it. That's maybe the next $100 million influencer because we do that too. But you're in pro you project manage your own deals. We don't do it for you. We give you the platforms. You project manage your own deals. We'll put you on television. Because my company will bankroll you on TV. That's the easy part. I need you as digital marketers, you affiliate marketers, you um, social media influencers to run our deals online while we go on television. So what you're seeing is the real David Bronstein in my gorgeous mansion. Uh, now, here, look at this. And now, let me back it's backwards. See, see, it's backwards. My jeans are here. <laughs> the, the article says in the paper today, sex ed rollback hurts rights. Here's what's going on. I'll read, I'll read it to you here. The sex ed... Got so much gas, I can drive to Pittsburgh. The sex education, something in the schools of Canada, whatever the hell it is, are teaching sex ed back to 2015. I, I don't know why. They're talking... They have a new curriculum to 2015. The kids in high school, they're going to, to talk about the sex education curriculum from 2015. Now, you're saying it's 2018 that they updated. They haven't updated this since 1812. They haven't updated the sex uh, education curriculum. What's your update? Isn't everyone having sex? Isn't isn't sex hasn't sex been the same since God created the world? Everybody has sex. humans have sex, animals have sex. Isn't the same sex? If it's not, somebody fill me in. Andrea, can you feel is it the same sex? I've been married 33 years. I can tell you it's the same sex. But I want to tell you this here. <laughs> a whole bunch of people are hollering that the kids need to be updated. They need to be updated. To 2015, it's old sex. We need to have new sex. Believe me, I need to have new sex too. We need to have new sex. We need to have 2019 sex. Believe me, I need to have 2019 sex too. They need to have 2019 sex. I'd love to have sex with 2019. <laughs> um, so they're all hollering. Who knows? What? Here's, here's what's one of the hollering here. I, I don't know. It, it's the dumbest, stupid thing ever. Here, here's the order. Like I show it to you, but it's backwards because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And if I had an editor and a production, my kid's room looks like Warner Brothers. If I had a whole production team, which I but but I don't feel like shoving to the studio for a bullshit blog like this, even though these kids are making hundred million on YouTube, I should be doing that. My business is marketing deals, getting products on television. That's my business. This is a side gig, side hustle. But I need somebody. You want to run my YouTube, my my influencer, my YouTube uh, 
a Twitch, live stream, you stream business, get in touch with me, Dave's TV World Outlook.com. I'll do the blog, I'll do the blogs with the content. You edit it, you post it, you upload it like they're supposed to. You should we should be cutting out to the news articles in this pitch right now. But I don't know how to it's too when I was a kid, I used to make movies, I used to edit. I have I have I had an editor with film and a splicer. It's a whole new world. Now you need a whole laptop that I can't even figure out how to use. I don't know, are we rolling here? I say here, I'm gonna read what this says here. What the hell is it? All right, here. Now they got lawyers. A whole bunch of parents got lawyers because the sex of schools teaching the kids from 2015 is old sex. Got to have new sex. I got to have new sex too. I hope Andrea isn't watching this. Now here's what I want to tell you. <laughs> now, <laughs> not only did the parents get lawyers to holler at the school, the school board that they're teaching old sex, they wouldn't have new sex. They wouldn't have 2019 sex, not 2015 sex. <laughs> Lawyers representing Becky McFarland. Becky McFarland, who's a queer parent of a sixth grader. What it says in the paper? A queer parent of a sixth grader. I don't know. I could use the word queer. <laughs> queer. My Uncle Herman used to use the word queer. He said, like in the Three Stooges, put your hand on your hip, put your hand like this. Now you're a queer. That's what he would say, my Uncle Herman. I thought queer was a derogatory word for homosexuals. I thought that. Maybe... Queer is okay now. Maybe homosexual is a derogatory word. I don't, I don't know. There's so many words now. Uh, uh, transgender and transvestite and uh, queer and I don't know what the hell the word. Homopho homo. I don't know what the hell. I, I can't get it together. I don't. I, it's, the dog's trying to climb my lap right now. What do you want? So come on up. Let's go. It's a very professional blog. <laughs> so come on up. Let's come on. He's trying to climb up, climb up my legs right now. So let's go. It's either him or, or the rats. Let's go. You want to come up here? I think it's the rats. You want to come up? So come on up. Let's go. Jeez, come on. Well, he has to sit every day. He has to sit in my lap. Every day. Every, as soon as I sit in the couch, he has to sit in my lap. I'm doing a blog here about sex. Oh, now, now, now he wants to listen. Never listened to me before. Now he wants to listen. But don't sit on my computer, please. He wants to sit on my lap right now. So this girl is queer. I don't know. You can see. Jesus Christ. Now he's walking on the computer. <laughs> here he is here. Can you see him here? Yeah, very good. I'm very happy for you. Now I have to hold the laptop like this while I'm trying to do this blog. Uh, all right, some girl is queer. <laughs> She's a sixth grader. Yes, she's very interested. And the girl that's queer, queer. <laughs> what are you doing now? Bevy, get a <laughs> he used to say queer. Um what does it say? Queer. She, 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 Becky McFarland, who's a queer parent of a sixth grader. She's very upset because the curriculum from 2015, the sex curriculum, doesn't talk about queers, doesn't talk about sexual orientation, doesn't talk about gender identity. What the hell is gender identity? See, I don't know what the hell. They, what is that? What's gender identity? You're a boy, you're a girl. That's all there is. That's all I do. See, I, I got the old curriculum. I got the 1975 curriculum, 1974. That's I got the 1973, 1972 curriculum. When I was in junior high school and high school, I was in the third grade for two terms, Kennedy and Johnson. When I was in school, I got all A's. Hey, shut up. Hey, sit down. Hey, what are you doing over there? I was teacher's pet. She couldn't afford a dog. I remember one time the teacher, I brought her an apple and she gave me a kiss. So the next day I brought her a watermelon. And what's going on here is this, this girl here, Becky McFarland is queer. All right, we got that straight. And um, just a, a gay sixth grader. No, no, the, the sixth grader isn't gay. Becky McFarland, maybe the, who the hell knows? She's upset that the 2015 curriculum does not include sexual. <laughs> Doesn't include sexual orientation. I don't know what sexual orientation. What the hell is that? Doesn't include sexual orientation. Okay, 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 dog. Doesn't it want me to pet him now. Doesn't include sexual orientation, gender identity, and same sex relationships. The 2015 Canadian Toronto, whatever it is, sex education course does not include same sex relationships. Who cares? 
Why do we need to, why, why does it have to be in there? <laughs> Same set. Why? Because you're gay, everybody else has to be gay. That's how the gay people think. If you're gay, everybody has to be gay. It's a good thing Hitler wasn't gay. But here's what I want to say. <laughs> Maybe he was, I don't know. What is it? What am I reading here? <laughs> this is, so they're alienating the LBGTQQ. I don't know what the hell that means either. The LBGKK2 to LGBTQ. I don't know what the hell that is. Is it me that's so out of touch, or is it the rest of the world that's out of touch? The rest of the world that's out of touch. The LBGTQ. Th this 2015 curriculum, sex ed curriculum, is alienating the LBTQQ community and violates, violates, vi I don't know what the hell that word is, violates, no, violates, and violates, violates their constitutional right to equality. The 2015 Sex Education in Canada, Toronto, violates the LBTQQ sexual equality, constitutional rights, whatever the hell it is. So then judges asked, the judges, when because the, everybody's suing everybody. The judges said, well, you know, uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to do that. So um, they asked, have there been an infringement on these LBGGQ rights during the years of uh, 1998 to 2014? The judges asked that today. LBGGQ, LB, LGBTQ Society Association, I don't know what it is. The judges asked, have we violated those rights from 1998 till the present? Did we violate those, those, those? We didn't infringe on those rights. And this girl replied, this gay girl, I can't say, can I say gay? Because I don't know what that was, queer. She said, no, the world has changed since then. The human rights code has changed. <laughs> the human rights code has changed. Here's a David Bronstein sexual curriculum. Go fuck yourself. Here's a David Bronstein sexual curriculum. As far as I know, what do I, I don't know anything. I know we can make our billions together. As far as I know, sex has been going on since the dawn of man, that's the word. The dinosaurs had sex, the cavemen had sex, everybody had sex. Except me, I'm married 33 years. The sex is the same. Girls and boys have sex. Boys and boys have sex. Girls, girls, animals, everyone has sex. Now the LBGGQ, the hollery. How dare you say when you're comparing us to animals? Everybody's having sex. Who cares? Do you care? I care if I have sex. That's about it. Do you care? Well, I don't know. I'd rather gamble. But do you care? I know the world cares. <laughs> the world cares because it's in the newspaper. The world cares about what they're teaching the kids to have sex. The straight people want the the straight kids to be taught straight sex, and the gay people want their gay kids to be caught, taught gay sex. Because it's in here, this, this girl that's gay, queer, that has a, a six-year-old kid, is upset that the curriculum isn't teaching gender identity. The kid doesn't know what the, the six-year-old kid doesn't know what it is. <laughs> you got to teach what they are. By sixth grade, you should know what you are. <laughs> the men are not teaching gender identity. Sexual orientation, same-sex relationships. Everybody wants you to teach what, what you are. Who cares? Who, why does anybody care? Why does the world care? Why does the newspapers care? What You have sex, who cares? It feels good. That's about it, at least for me. You know, years ago, there were laws in cities or states that Get, you can't have gay sex. Homosexuals, it's against the law. I don't know why. Isn't that strange? Why would that be against the law? What do you care? What do you care that two guys want to get it on or two girls, whatever it is? What do you, who cares? I don't know why. It's the way, what, you know, there's some, in some countries, it's against the law. Excuse me, I got so much gas, I can drive to another country. It's against the law to have to have gay sex. Can't be homosexual. Being a homosexual in other, what's that dog doing there? Being a homosexual in other countries is against the law. Still today. Why? 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 Why does the, the uh, you have you have countries, worlds, whatever you have, planets, whatever you have, and then there's government. People set up government. You have to have government, otherwise it'd be anarchy. People be 
it would be it would be the purge because people are nuts. Not everybody's like David Bronstein. And in these governments, whatever they or these whatever they put together, they said, "Look, well, you you can say this, you can't say that." They come up with rules and laws, and one of the laws are you can't be gay. <laughs> can't be well, you can, but we're gonna lock you up. <laughs> it's against the law to be gay, gay, homosexual, whatever it is. Isn't that odd? <laughs> it's odd. What do you want from me? Why does anybody care what you do? I mean, if you don't rob and shoot and kill, you know, you'd be normal. <laughs> you know, you'd be normal. You don't hurt anybody. You, you just take care of yourself, you know. Don't hurt anybody else. You know, just have fun and live your life, whatever. You're going to have a great life. You want to have sex with girls and guys, whatever you want to have sex. What does the sex part have to do with the law? Can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. So this newspaper can't figure out either. And, and this girl, Becky, whatever her name is, Becky McFarland, can't figure out either. <laughs> so she, so the straight parents are upset that they're teaching 2015 sex to the kids. And the gay girls upset they're not teaching gay sex to the kids. All right. <laughs> and what does it say here? I had to do this. It's, it's so dumb. Thousands of frustrated Ontario, Ontarians. There's thousands. They're all frustrated now because they're not getting sex. There's thousands of frustrated Ontarians. I, I know what it feels like. There's thousands of... I hope Andrew doesn't watch this. There's thousands of frustrated Ontarians. They collected thousands of petitions. Who signed these petitions? The frustrated parents. They're all sexually frustrated. I don't, I don't blame them. Amy, get me that petition, please. There's thousands of... <laughs> I, they're calling uh, 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 petition signatures, calling for the sexual health component of the 2015 curriculum to be reinstored, reinstored, restored, reins and reinstored. Okay. And, and, and somebody said here, I never my wildest dreams thought there would be 72,000 engagements in this process. 72,000 people. 72,000 people are sexually frustrated. They all signed this petition. When children see themselves reflected in the curriculum, they thrive both educationally and socially. Do you think these kids are thinking about sex? They're thinking about the, the video games, World of Warcraft. They're thinking about the Taylor Swift. They're thinking about music videos. You know, they're thinking about going on the internet. They're thinking about the Fortnite or whatever. My kid plays another video game. I don't know why. I, he always tells me. I forget what the hell the name of it is. Overwatch. I don't know what the hell. That's what the kids are thinking of. By deliberately removing LGBTQ, did I get it right this time? By deliberately removing LBGTQ identities, at that point I didn't get it right. By removing the, the gay identities and families from the curriculum, by removing gay stuff from the curriculum, they're putting students at risk. Uh, we have a, a premier here, premier governor, president. I don't know, his name is Doug Ford. I love him. I think he's great. Running the country. It's a city, country, whatever. I, don't know. Well, I love the family. I love them. I think they're fantastic. This this news article here, this print says, by deliberately removing LGBTQ identities and families from the curriculum, the Ford conservatives put students at risk. This girl or this newspaper are blaming the Ford government agency, whatever, the, the Ford administration, the Doug Ford administration, this newspaper is blaming because they say they're, they're, they're removing the gay stuff out of the sexual curriculum in Canada that the Ford administration is putting the gay kids at risk. It's not the gay kids that are putting themselves at risk by having sex without condoms, by having unprotected sex. They're not putting themselves at risk. It's the Ford administration. They're the ones putting them at risk. <laughs> How could I not talk about this? You know, that's what the world, everybody blames everybody else for their own personal bullshit. It's not you, it's them. It's the dumbest, stupidest thing. Andy has a girlfriend who I love and I'm going to kiss her all day. Love her and adore her. She blames everybody else because of the way her life is right now. She blames her, her mother, her family because she doesn't have a boyfriend. She blames the boyfriend the, the way she's the ex-boyfriend the way she, she's she's right now. 
She blames everybody. Every her life is horrible because of everybody else, not because because of her choices, because of her decisions, because whatever she does, that's not why it's horrible. It's horrible because of everybody else, and that's the way everybody else is. Nobody takes control of their own personal life. Everyone has excuses. Everyone blames everybody else, and they could sit down and do whatever they want. It's, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If I want to be a billionaire, if I want a billionaire's lifestyle, I have to go get it. It's all on me. I create my own future. I create my own destiny. I, I predict my own future. The best way to predict your future is to create it. I ain't waiting for it. I don't wait for it. I don't hope for it. I go get it. I don't blame anybody. No, it's just me. When I when I put t TV infomercials on television, if nobody buys it, I say, oh, it's those lousy customers. I didn't call the number. <laughs> it's me. I booked the wrong airtime, the wrong product, the wrong show, the wrong station, the wrong uh, production. Whatever. It's me. My success is up to me. Except the gay kids. <laughs> The gay kids are all at risk because of the Ford administration. It says you're in the Toronto Star. <laughs> there. <laughs> the Toronto Star says the gay kids are, are uh, <laughs> what? by removing the LBDGQ identities and families from the curriculum, from the sex curriculum, the Ford conservatives put the students at risk. See, it's not the kids that are having sex with everybody under the bleachers with no protection. It's the Ford administration. <laughs> And you get Doug Ford on the phone. I want to vote, uh, elect him for president. I want to be his campaign manager. I, they're great. It's a newspaper that stinks. So as we wrap up here, any person and parent of a child who's been a victim of cyberbullying, a survivor of sexual violence, or subjected to diminish, diminish, discrimination, discrimination, I see I had my nose fixed now. My mouth doesn't work. Discrimination because of their LGBTQ identity can tell you how devastating it is for a child's mental and physical health to be denied information, empowerment, and a safe place. What am I supposed to do? They're blaming the – they're saying, look, these gay kids are in school. They get beat up. They get hollered, cyberbullying. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's hard. It is. Nobody should be bullied and made fun of. and It's horrible. You want to be gay? Say, be gay. Who cares? And in this day and age, it's fantastic that I, I think about this all the time. I don't think about being gay, but I think about when I see gay people, and they're so flamboyantly gay, and they're so uh, like Roger Debris gay that I love from the producers. I think to myself, is, and I do, isn't this fantastic? I think to myself, isn't this fantastic? This is great that these gay people, homosexuals, queers, whatever the hell they are, whatever they are, can be like that. They can be so flamboyantly over-the-top gay and be themselves that that's how they want to be. And I find it funny and entertaining. And I find it funny and entertaining that they can be like that and not be ashamed or maybe they're still ashamed. I don't know. Or, or feel uh, 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 people are going to get at them or, or whatever they think or feel or the way it used to be. You could not, I mean, you could act like that. And then somebody beat you up or holiday, you couldn't get jobs, couldn't get parts in shows, whatever it was years ago. Rock Hudson was gay, but nobody could tell you he was gay. He couldn't tell you. He wouldn't get jobs or, or however it was then. Roddy McDowell, the greatest entertainers that I love, that I didn't know they were gay, I felt a sense of, um, not remorse, um, empathy. And I, I'm trying to get rid of empathy because I don't need it. It doesn't make me any money. What do I need empathy for? I felt a sense of empathy that these wonderful entertainers, I heard Danny Kay was gay. I don't know if he is or not. Roddy McDowell, but they're wonderful. They made me laugh and they entertained me and they made me happy. And to find out later, uh, Tony Perkins, I heard, was gay. I don't know. Tab Hunter, I didn't know he was gay. But they had to hide it. They're, they're wonderful entertainers. They make me happy and in the movies. And they couldn't live their personal lives as they wanted. I never knew um, – what's it? Paul Lynn was gay. I never knew he was gay. I met Paul Lynn in a supermarket. I was living in California. I was working in a supermarket. I met him there. I didn't know he was gay. He was wonderful. He's fantastic. Go watch one Bewitched in the Hollywood Square. It's the greatest. Other shows I remember seeing one is wonderful. The fact that he had to hide his gayness, it doesn't upset me. It just makes me, you know, sad. I don't want to say the word sad. I like to be happy. Makes me, um, whatever the word is, not happy that he had to live like that because I, because he was the greatest. So these kids today, when I see these kids who are so flamboyant and gay, and you can tell they're gay because they sound gay, and they're with friends or at the mall, I think this is great. They can be themselves. And they can be themselves and be whoever they want to be without being, without the uh, rep getting reprimanded or whatever the word is or now, maybe they're still made fun of. Maybe they're still made fun of at stores and work and schools. But I've never seen more gays years ago than I see 
now. And my best friend Ronnie was gay. Was, is, thank God he's still around gay. When I grew up with him, my best friend growing up in, um, since sixth grade. I met him in sixth grade. We're best friends in junior high school and high school. My parents just say, Dave, Ronnie's a true blue friend. My parents say this all the time. It's true. He's a true blue friend. And uh, uh, we're still friends now. I never talked to him because he's gay. We're still friends now. <laughs> um, he married a psychiatrist. I think they're married or living together, whatever the hell it is. He's my best friend growing up from the years of junior high school, high school. But I never uh, thought of him gay. I, thought, I didn't. I didn't. He's my friend. I didn't think of him being gay. I, I didn't. He was just my friend Ronnie. And I didn't think about it because I don't think like that. I don't think with blinders on. I don't think like that. So the fact that these kids are gay now and they're so out in the open and they feel they could be out in the open, I think it's great. Like that show, uh, what the hell is it called? Glee. That kid is wonderful in that show. He's fantastic. And Brian, not Brian, uh, who does those horror shows? Uh, he, The guy that created Glee, he did the Nip Tuck, he did... Um, House of Horrors, whatever the hell is that? Something American Horror Story. He's unbelievably talented. Unbelievably. He's gay too. But who cares? Who cares that they're gay? Who cares about their sexual orientation? I know the newspapers care and the, and the, 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 the Toronto sexual uh, curriculum, they care. <laughs> I don't care. So when they're writing here that the cyberbullying, which is terrible and horrible, and kids are killing themselves because of it, because it's horrible, because they, they're all nuts. You have to be nuts if you kill yourself. If you, they kill yourself, um, sexual violence, discrimination, it's all horrible, 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 horrible. Nobody, everyone should be happy and live the life they want and be whoever they want, all that stuff. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on YouTube. I'm telling you, in the David Bronstein world, that's the way it should be. And yeah, I, I like to run for president. So when they blame all this bullshit on the Ford conservatives, how could I not do a block about this? How could, when they don't take responsibility for themselves, for their lives, but they blame it on bullshit sexual curriculums. What world are we living in? How does, how does, this is a Toronto star. Haven't they heard of the internet? <laughs> Haven't they heard of Tinder and Grindr and all these sex, gay uh, sex, a billion sex websites. You don't think these kids are on these sex websites, these high school kids? They're the ones text, texting, texting, whatever sexting. Is that what, they're the ones doing it. They're the ones... Showing pictures of themselves. What I see in the news, I see it on, on the, the news and the newspaper. They're the, the, the kids are high school kids. And 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 and, and the new and the teacher at the curriculum, the star, they're all complaining about the 2015 sexual curriculum. It's old news. We should update it. Update it. You think these kids are in high school now? Don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Jeez, when I was a kid, we had Playboy, Playboy, Penthouse, and the other magazines we had. That's what we had. It's been going on for years. And during my parents growing up, they had smokers. You go in the back room, you know, a, a film, old smokers, they called them. They had burlesque houses. So now that you have the internet, you don't think the kids are going on getting all their sexual education they ever want in their lives on the internet? No, they're, they're, you, you think they're only going to know about 2015 sex? That's all I know is 2015 sex. I've been married 33 years. Now go to Dave's TV World at Outlook.com and let's make our billions together. You can have 2015 sex, 2017 sex, 18, 19, sex every year. At the David at Dave's TV World Outlook.com, you get sex every day. <laughs> Just like me. Go to Dave's TV World at Outlook.com. We produce TV infomercials. We're shooting for the next. I'm like a, I'm like a um, I'm petting the dog here. I'm like a, a James Bond villain with a cat in my lap. Dave's TV World at Love.com. Let's make a billion dollars together. I'll be doing blogs on YouTube every day, talking what's in the news. You go to Facebook, hear my podcast. Very professional. The productions we do are professional. My blogs are not professional. We shoot in actual studios, real crews, real cameras, book a quarter of a million dollars in airtime. We're a very professional company. If you have a product you want to go on television, get in touch with me. My pub, my blogs aren't because I can't get anybody to edit them. You think my crew I'm gonna pay my crew money? I'm not paying them to do my blogs. Dave's TV World at Outlook.com. If you're an overachiever, an influencer, a power seller, get our products online. We do business with Shark Tank type inventors, suppliers, manufacturers. You know, the ShamWow, Slap Chop, Snuggy Blanket, Proactive, all have done a billion dollars. Shark Tank, Laurie Grenier's Slim Fit Board, and um, 
And the sponge, the scrub buddy sponge, over $175 million. Don't ask me, ask Lori, she'll tell you. Dave's TV World, dog won't leave me alone. Dave's TV World, that look.com. Message me today. Get our products on eBay, Overstock, Amazon, Etsy, Shopify. Let's make a billion dollars together. I have no more time to blog. I got to deal with the sexual curriculum from 2015. Dave's TV World, that look.com. Goodbye. What the hell is it called? How do I turn this off? End stream. Thank you.